This is my review of the Thorson filament dryer. I've been testing this for about a month now. Um, when I originally got it, I sort of put it through a stress test by putting some filament in a bucket of water for a week and then extruding it so that um, I could verify that bubbles were coming out and then turning on the dryer to see what the impact of the filament was. The result was that it definitely dries the filament, but when it's totally waterlogged, it doesn't completely dry it, which is sort of expected. That's a, really an extreme use case. So the test that I performed recently is I just left some filament out for about two weeks. Uh, it's still loaded in here. It's kind of uh, just haphazardly put in there, but uh, the result was that, you know, you can see that it definitely improves your prints. I um, printed two calibration cubes here. Trying to shine some light through it so you can see kind of the artifacts. But the one on the left is um, without the dryer turned on, and the one on the right is with the dryer turned on. So you're still getting a tiny bit of bubbling, but nowhere near as much as the uh, cube where it was just totally left out. I think the, the short of this is that this product works, but it's going to depend on how waterlogged your filament is. If you're in an environment where the humidity is extremely high, if you're living in the Amazon or something, I don't know what your results will be. I'm in the Northeast here of, of the US, and I think it's definitely a worthwhile thing to add to your setup. I originally had a more um, sort of test setup that was over here that um, it, I had more length of filament before it got to the extruder and the result of that was when if I left if I left the filament loaded and didn't print for a while I would have to effectively prime this by you know run, turning the dryer on I can turn it on now so you can see it um, and I would extrude until all the filament that was after the dryer had been totally purged and I was def I was running you know actual dry filament um, yeah, so I will stitch together the rest of my videos. Some of this might repeat. I just kind of wanted to give you a sort of reader, Reader's Digest version of I think this product works. Um, but the, you know, you have to have the right expectations. If you have filament that's been sitting in a bucket of water, it's not going to perform magic and totally dry that for you. But if you have filament that you take care of properly, like I could show you, I keep my PETG in a dry box here and um, I'll be feeding that to the dryer. The reason I started looking at this was because I uh, got some PETG that uh, was wet when I took it out of the packaging. It bubbled like every centimeter. So yeah, I'm happy with it. Um, one thing to add is that I, I've been asked this question a few times. I posted on Facebook and people wonder how the water vapor can escape when this thing is heating. And if you look closely here, it's kind of hard to see. In the, the heat sink here, there's actually some holes that have been cut. So you can see your filament passes through here, gets your heat lock, and on its way out, if there's any moisture, I guess this is where it would be allowed to escape. But anyway, that's my review. I'm happy with the product. Uh, I will stitch together the rest of my videos and you can see my whole journey. Okay. This video is for the inline filament dryer by Thornton 3D. Model number is IFD175R. IFD is inline filament dryer. 175 is the diameter of the filament, and R means that this is the remote version, meaning the dryer part of the device is separate from the actual box itself. They have a more simplified version where the dryer is inside of the box. This one is a little more flexible in how you can hook it up to your printer. Um, full disclosure, they sent me this for free for evaluation, but I have no affiliation with them. So let's just open this up. This looks like they include a sticker. There is a manual here. Oh, there's a uh, drill bit. Looks like it just rolled out. That I believe you're supposed to use that in case this thing gets clogged and you have to unclog it. You can drill it out. This is what makes it the R version. This is the um, the actual dryer itself. It's connected to the control box that regulates the temperature. So you send your you put your filament in one side and it exits the other side. It looks like uh, the the right side here has um, 
some ports cut into it so that it can release water vapor as it dries your filament. Comes with the AC to DC adapter. I'll have to do it with one hand here. And this is the control box. You have your on switch there, and then your temperature display. So I open the box and uh, the box itself looks like a standard sort of project box with some custom cutouts. It has pretty nice appearance. The internals look like some off-the-shelf parts. They have a custom 3D printed uh, holder board at the bottom that holds everything in place. The DC jack is a little interesting. Typically on like a production board you might see you know a, a DC jack soldered to the board and then um, it would be aligned with the outside of the case or you would maybe see a, a surface mount um, DC jack that has like a, a nut that screws on the outside. It'll be interesting to see if that can stand up from uh, repeated use, but overall the inside looks pretty clean. Looks like decent components, so we'll see how it is. So I have some PETG that's been sitting in a bucket for about a week. The red filament's been in there for about a week. The green filament has been in there for about two days. I might just try the red one, see if uh, it's absorbed any water, and maybe wait a few days more for the green one. But let's see what happens. Currently printing a calibration cube with the wet filament. Let's see how it goes. So I finished the calibration cube. Uh, we'll check that out in a second. But let's just verify that when we extrude, we're still getting bubbly filament. the filament dryer and purge some filament so that we get uh, heated filament coming out for the next test. We're going to have that headed on at 65. Let's leave it at that and see how it does. A plastic that is extremely bubbly. It's just purging this huge line of loading tube we have here. And now it's finally just started coming out pretty clear. See, there's still some bubbles, but it's significantly more clear than this mess. It's still bubbling though. the temperature to 70 because we're kind of extruding faster than you would if uh, you were actually printing and it is coming out super clear the bubble every now and then I'm not sure how much I've purged but it is coming out significantly more clear than this mess so this definitely works I'll stop extruding now and I'll do another calibration cube. So here's the first calibration cube that was with filament that was definitely wet. The bottom is particularly gross. Then the next cube with the filament dryer on is still not perfect but significantly better you can see the bottom 
is pretty clear compared to the other one. Keep in mind this is probably somewhat unusual that you would have filament that's so waterlogged. So just for your average, you know, trying to dry out some damp filament, this thing probably works pretty well. And then I also have a cube here that is with um, filament that I didn't put in water and this one's perfect. I wrote on the bottom for the flow on that one, but you can see this one's really good. But this one, I did not, uh, I actually had the dryer on for this, but this was not previously wet, so this isn't really a valid test. This is really just to show what um, the best print result could look like. You can see these two side by side. The one on the left is the totally wet, no dryer. One on the right has the dryer. Surprisingly, the the sides, I mean, you can tell that the one that was totally wet was definitely worse, but the one that um, had the dryer on, I guess just because it was so waterlogged, it was still extruding a bubble every now and then, and that kind of shows itself in the, the print a little bit, but definitely improved from the... Uh, the totally wet one with no dryer and as I was running it I initially started at 65 degrees C and then as it was uh, as this is before I was printing the cube but I turned it up to 70 degrees when I was just extruding uh, the plastic to, to kind of purge the lines there but that's it I think this thing definitely works um, your mileage may vary based on how wet your filament is, but it's pretty unlikely that you're gonna have filament this wet. Something else to show is that here's the filament that I extruded to purge the lines. You can see it's it's pretty clear. This is the previously wet filament that had the dryer turned on. You'll see a bub bubble every now and then, but nothing crazy. If you look at what was extruding prior to turning the filament on, I mean, it was totally crazy. It's just full of bubbles. So I just kept extruding until it came out uh, more clear. You can see, like right here, this is really clear.